Welcome to this video on setting your personal background image in a Microsoft Teams meeting at the New Brunswick Community College. So we do recommend that if you're going to share your camera in a Microsoft Teams meeting, that you either blur your background or you set a personal background image to help protect your privacy. And so to set your personal background image at Teams, there's a couple options for you. Uh, the first is you can go and turn your camera on. So where the camera is right here, you can toggle it on and then press the effects and avatars option here. And then you'll be able to go in and set your background. Or the next option for you is you can just choose join now to join into the meeting. And so once you join into the Teams meeting, you can just go under the three little dots here under the more option. And if you scroll down, you'll see that exact same effects and avatars option right here. So whether you do it when you're first joining the meeting or just after you've joined is completely up to you. You can just choose effects and avatars. And then in there, you'll get the options here. So you can choose to blur your background. So if I choose that option, I can scroll down here and choose to preview it. So then you'll, you'll see me on the screen here and you'll notice there's a big monitor there behind me. So maybe blurring my background isn't the best option here. And so I'm just going to stop the preview. I can scroll down through the list of images here. So Microsoft Teams provides you with quite an extensive list of background images to choose from. I can choose one of these. So maybe I choose Halo Valley here. I can do a quick preview of that. Again, you'll see me on the screen here. And if I like that, I can choose apply and turn on video. Otherwise, I can just stop the preview here and choose another image. So you also have the option to add your own image here. And so if you choose add new, there are some requirements for the image that you need to be aware of. Uh, the minimum size of the image would be 360 by 360 pixels. The maximum size would be 2048 by 2048. So somewhere in between the minimum and the maximum size your image will have to be. The file types that are accepted are a JPEG, PNG, or BMP and the aspect ratio uh, needs to be greater than four. And so if I want to add an image from my computer, for example, I can just press add new and then I'm going to get the pop up over here on the left hand side of my computer. It's just going to open up my desktop and maybe I've got this uh, background image here from the show The Simpsons. If I want to choose that one, I can just choose the option there, the image I want to upload. I'll scroll down here to where it says open and then I'll just press the open button. I can scroll down. So when it adds your image, it adds it to the very bottom of the list right here. You can see it's been added. So if I want to preview it, I can just press the preview button right there. You can see that it's all good. And if I want to make this my default uh, background, so every time I turn on my camera in a Teams meeting, it's going to make this my background image. Uh, I can choose apply and turn on video if that's the one that I want to use. So this concludes the tutorial on setting your personal background image in a Microsoft Teams meeting at the New Brunswick Community College.